Hello and welcome back to Everything Tumblr Tutorials. My name is Rebecca Escott and today I'm going to show you how you can work with a coffee cup style tumbler and or a tea tumbler, whichever you prefer, and how you can do this all in one day. I'm going to use Angel Dust, which is a diamond cut from AB Designs. And as you can see, I just spray painted this uh, coffee cup tea tumbler solid white and I'm going to glitter right over it. If at any point though you feel like you need a second coat of glitter, you can always use Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear, seal it right away and go ahead and apply a second coat of glitter. Allow that to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Once you're happy with your glitter application, go ahead and allow this to completely dry and then use the clear gloss from Rust-Oleum and seal this really, really well. Allow that to dry before moving on to your first coat of epoxy. For my first coat of epoxy, I'm using FASA from Counterculture DIY. So when it comes to working with handled tumblers, sometimes it's much easier to work with less epoxy than more. You certainly wouldn't want to do a flood coat because you're going to then risk getting pulling up around those handles in which that's not what we want. So if need be, do a thin coat, take your time, and then go back in and do a second coat if, if necessary. Once you've applied all your epoxy to your tumbler, make sure you hit it with the heat torch to pop any bubbles that you may or may not be able to see. Now that our tumbler is fully cured, as you'll see, I've already gotten started adding some of my favorite florals from Banff Custom Creations. So I just individually cut these flowers out and place them right around the bottom rim of the tumbler. I speed this up for you guys a little bit um, so I don't bore you with the cutting and all of that, but you can design your tea tumblers and coffee cups however your heart desires. I found these to be very easy to work with. At any point in which I had a little hiccup in placement, I was able to pull it back up off the tumbler and relay it, as you'll see through these clips. Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up, today's gonna be a good day Wake up Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. So life ain't easy, y'all. I think there's a reason, though. Ups and downs, just like every different season, y'all. Sometimes I'm high, other times I'm barely breathing, though. I always gotta fight and hide from the demons, y'all. Negative thoughts are poison they ride uh, Head full of flies, so here come the clouds uh, They'll never stop unless I can swap All the bad for the good in my head when I'm lost uh, Yeah, so I'ma fake it till I make it Positive thoughts are overtaken, I got patience One day at a time is how you operate a cadence A flow, you grow, you show yourself a foundation Stay away from all the shit that causes temptation I know that I like to do it a sensation i live my life in my head like a narration don't expect greatness do my best man i'll take it wake up today's gonna be a good day wake up today's gonna be a good day so once i had pretty much designed the rest of my tumbler i decided to go ahead and incorporate the handle I think it's super elegant when the handle is incorporated and I did need to trim this down quite a bit um, because I didn't really want it to wrap around that handle because I would get a lot of creases um, that would just make this whole thing wonky. So it really was just the illusion for when the tumbler is upright that you can see and it looks like it blends perfectly with the rest of the flowers. This tumbler did not need to be sealed and was ready for its next coat of epoxy. For this next coat of epoxy, I am using Fasa from Counterculture DIY. 
again, I'm using very thin amounts of epoxy instead of thicker amounts in order to keep it from pulling around that handle. For its last and final coat of epoxy, I will be using Artist Resin, again, from Counterculture DIY. I really hope that you enjoyed this simplicity of this tumbler today. And prior to this epoxy coat, you can always add a beautiful decal of any saying of your choice. And any time that you're going to be using Fast Set from Counterculture DIY really allows you to get a tumbler job done in a fraction of the time. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. I want to thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this very quick, fun, simplicity tumbler tutorial, make sure you hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more tutorials coming soon. Set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time, yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day, call it replication. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day.